Well guys, welcome back to another episode of Murphy's Nest. It's Jennifer here and um, I am on my way to the post office. We literally um, just wrapped up our uh, first whatnot auction yesterday. Um, I posted a video. Um, you can check that out on our channel and get a little bit better idea of our thoughts and feelings. Honestly, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm not feeling it yet. I know being a first time, it's probably not the best option to judge something so quickly, but the amount of um, anxiety, stress, and issues that we ran across, um, I don't know how easy it is if we're going to be able to get back to um, a good standing in this situation. I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep it going for a little while, test the waters, see if it's something that's gonna be right for us, but um, I was, printing out the labels and I set it up on my personal email but I also have it set up somehow on my business um, email and I could not figure out how to get into it from the desktop versus the laptop and I was having trouble with the printing of the shipping however once I figured it out the shipping was fairly easy, so that wasn't too much of a big trouble. Um, now, I packaged everything, and they say you do one flat rate, and then it's only a dollar for every additional item. And then the seller, which would be me, I have to pay the um, shipping and the free items. So, after everything is said and done, I thought I sold 24 shirts, or 24 items, and ended up with $33 profit. Yeah, I actually ended up negative $33 because I didn't realize that the shipping for the free items might actually be more than my profit. So that didn't work out. Then on top of it, I started my auctions originally at $3 and we didn't have very many takers so I lowered them to a dollar a piece. Granted, I paid a dollar for majority of the shirts, but there are a couple in there I paid between four to eight dollars on, and we ended up um, having to pay the fees for whatnot. So by the time everything was finished, we are now negative, and I probably had made no money at all if I did not, even if I didn't sell or if I did not auction off those freebies, I still don't feel like I made any money. But like I said, we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna test it out and see if maybe it's just a first time person error or if it's something else. I highly recommend if it's your first time to make sure that you are not putting up high dollar items um, because you might not get enough people popping in right away. Otherwise, um, I would just make sure you you priced your stuff appropriately and not let it go for free. But we did gain 21 followers. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Let's go to the post office. up having an item I knew was about eight ounces more and she said they do not charge you at the post office for the overage it will be done through the app so we'll see how that works out so right across from the post office is a Goodwill this particular Goodwill has um, I believe a food pantry in the back and I want to say that this is the they call it the plant office um, and they have a small thrift store. It's not a very large Goodwill. Um, and I like to come in here because it's kind of like it's hidden and it's out of the way. It's also not in one of the very desirable neighborhoods. Uh, I kind of get a little bit, it's not too far down. The reason why I say it's not in a very good neighborhood is because everything around here is business warehouses and it's not like 
updated business warehouses. These are like old time. So people don't typically come out here to shop for the Goodwill. Sometimes they find some really good stuff and they still price their kids clothes cheaper than some of the other locations who have increased their kids prices. So like at the one um, a little bit closer to my house, they sometimes charge about four or five dollars for a kid's shirt. And here it's $3.49 all the time. I'm just hoping that they don't increase their prices anytime soon, but I've found some really nice items in here. So let's pop in there and check it out today. Okay, so our store does color of the week and it is purple. So unfortunately, the store here actually ends up playing music in the bath background, and I'm not able to um, speak because I'll get a copyright claim. So I'm just going to share with you guys what I find, and uh, I start over here by the shoes. It looks like their clothing area they just recently cleaned out because I was here last week and these racks were full. So I always peek through here. Most of the stuff um, I find is usually for Ella and Bryce and they have some really good brands. Uh, Bryce usually wears like Under Armour, Nike, and Adidas and they usually have really good prices. Again, you can see on these tags it's only $3.39 for the kids shirts. Then I usually take a look up here. They don't have a lot of toys but they typically put the plushies on the top shelf. And I have found Build-A-Bears and Squishmallows here before, so I always take a quick peek here. Doesn't look like I'm finding very much today. So now I move over to the other side. Um, they typically don't put a lot of toys, but sometimes when they don't have room, they will put them in this area. Most of the toys are in the other side of the store, which I will show you in a little bit. We just are getting ready to do a whatnot auction for Nerf Blasters, so that's why I was kind of peeking at these. They typically sell pretty well. Now I'm coming across the shoes. Their kids' uh, shoe selection is always a hit and miss. Those Heelys would have been okay, but I chose not to move on those. And look, we found some Squishmallows. Now, they are a good price. They typically are $5 at 5 below. However, these ones did not have their Squishmallow tags on them, so I did pass. The Bunny probably would have sold really well. I, I could have picked that one up during Easter, and I know that when the seasonal ones come up, those are really good to get. So a few weeks ago, I found um, a vintage, uh, I think it was a USA um, jacket over here. And so sometimes they put some other items in this area. Also, you can notice that that one leather jacket had a Harley looking logo, but it was not a Harley coat. So I did pass on that for sure. Recently, I also noticed that the store started um, buying liquidation palettes to put in their uh, shelves. So we have found a lot of the Target spot items here. Now this back wall I have scored very well in the past. I found some really nice vintage Pyrex, but recently it's been um, not really good. I'm not too sure about you guys, but um, Pyrex in our area has been very hard to find. I know it's a big Pyrex boom recently, and I feel like inventory is much lower, but you do have to be a little bit careful. Now, if you notice, here I am, and this was the toy area I was telling you about. So they fill this with too much stuff, and then they use the other side as like an overflow. They do have a lot of these little bags of... Um, little miniature action figures and toys and they're usually pretty cheap you can see that one was only $5.49 and they fill it pretty full each store is a little different this one was my score of the day if you can't tell already there are vintage uh, Power Rangers in there 
So I'm moving along and uh, I usually like to look along the side. They have stereos. We have found a Bose. Um, it was an under the counter mounted stereo with the remote and we sold it for like over $150, which was amazing. So I always peek there. Sometimes they have American Girl stuff um, in the big area with the furniture. So sometimes I pick that up. We had gotten the full um, ice cream truck for the Target version. And it was over $150 new. But it had all the accessories last time. And this was another score of the day. Now my son Bryce is going to be so excited. I found my very first BB Corp baseball bat at the thrift store. If you look online for BB Core baseball bats, which are for ages 13 and up, they are expensive. So if you see them at the store, I highly recommend grabbing them. So I'm almost finished in the store right now, and I'm just going to do a quick skim of the ladies' shoes. Um, usually I haven't found very many good things over here recently, but I always take a double look. They also have tons of purses. I have found a Lululemon backpack with the fanny pack on one of these carts on the right. So I always check. These carts are usually money. Today, however, I have to say there wasn't very much desired. It just finished up. Hold on, I won't, don't want to hit my car with this bat. Okay, I, I got it. Oh, just finished up. I did get a BB Core baseball bat. It's in a little bit of rough shape, but I think uh, Jeff can probably put a new grip on it. And um, he'll probably clean up a lot of the scratches. The end right here is a little rough on the paint. But overall, BB Core bats are so expensive. Just trying to find one for Bryce was so expensive. This particular bat is a 32 Easton, which is a little bit too long for Bryce. But he could grow into it if we decide to keep it. Otherwise, we can hit it up on Macari and see what we got. I also scored... The bag of action figures for $5.49. There's wrestling guys, Power Rangers. I think there was a Fortnite guy or so. Um, I was cashing out and the guy goes, Oh no, the Power Ranger bag. <laughs> He's like, I had those when I was a kid. He's like, I had every single one. So I was pretty excited. We just sold the Power Ranger t-shirt on our whatnot auction. I know, I still have a bitter feeling in my mouth about that. <laughs> Just the auction. Um, I'm going to see if Jeff wants to try to auction these off. Maybe test it out himself. Otherwise, they'll probably be going up on Macari. So, let's finish up our afternoon and see what else we got planned for the day. Now, I'm looking at this van here and they got tons of stuff. They're at the thrift store. And those are the people who are like hoarders. Those are the people who end up buying stuff at the thrift store and then never end up selling it. I have seen that at the thrift store quite a few times in the past and I just kind of, oh, I can't believe it. Well guys, that's the end of our video. I um, ended up getting home that day and Bryce had baseball and I had some running around to do. So it was a hectic afternoon and I didn't get to finish um, an outro with you. And I did not get to go back out to the thrift store, unfortunately. So uh, just follow us on our, um, our social media. We have a Facebook page. It is 716 Liquidations. You can check us out there. We will share all the stuff that we find in our liquidation palettes. We are doing a free giveaway for a tablet. All you have to do is follow the page. We also are going to be on um, Macari, which if you guys like any of the things that you see in our, um, you know, our, our shopping videos or our palettes, Typically, we will put it on Macari. I'm not a big eBay seller. I'm not a fan of eBay, but I know they have changed a lot of their stuff. So on occasion, we will post there as well. And Poshmark. I have sold so much stuff on Poshmark. So if you guys are ever looking for anything in our videos, you're more than welcome to check that out. I will put 
everything down below in the description. And I would greatly appreciate it if you give us at least a thumbs up that helps us grow our channel. And if you guys are enjoying what we're um, sharing with you guys, then you can hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time. See ya!